Napoleon's homeland, Italian island of French Republic. Yes, you are right, our today's topic is Corsica. Welcome to Clausewitz Chronicles, where we will talk about Corsica's captivating history, an island of a mosaic of cultural influences, heroic resistance, and a steadfast quest for identity. Genoese period. Corsica's recorded history begins with the Phoenicians, who, drawn by its strategic location, established trading posts in the 9th century BCE. The Greeks followed, coining the name Callisto, meaning the most beautiful, and later came under Roman dominion, which left a lasting architectural and cultural imprint. Post-Roman Corsica saw a period of turmoil, with successive invasions by Vandals, Lombards and Saracens, until the Genoese took control in the 11th century. Genoa's rule, lasting until the 18th century, was marked by the construction of formidable fortresses and the introduction of the chestnut, which became a staple of Corsican diet and economy. However, Genoese governance was often oppressive, igniting recurrent rebellions as Corsicans fought for autonomy. Pascal Paoli and the quest for independence. The 18th century heralded a defining era in Corsican history with the emergence of Pascal Paoli, a figure synonymous with Corsican nationalism. Under Paoli's leadership, Corsica declared independence in 1755, drafting a constitution that was among the first to advocate democratic principles, including the right to vote for women. Although this period of self-rule was short-lived, it ingrained a strong sense of identity and resistance among Corsicans. French annexation and modern Corsica. Corsica's quest for independence was quashed when France purchased the island from Genoa in 1768, leading to the Battle of Ponte Novo and the eventual French control in 1769. Notably, this year also saw the birth of Napoleon Bonaparte, Corsica's most famous son whose legacy is intricately linked with both Corsican and French histories. Under French rule, Corsica faced challenges of integration and identity preservation. The 20th century, with its world wars, brought significant changes. Corsicans played pivotal roles, demonstrating their loyalty to France. Yet the post-war era also saw a resurgence of nationalist sentiment, advocating for greater autonomy and recognition of Corsican culture and language. Today, Corsica enjoys a degree of autonomy within France, balancing modern influences with the preservation of its rich cultural heritage. The island remains a blend of its turbulent history and natural beauty, attracting visitors from around the globe and standing as a testament to the enduring spirit of its people. The history of Corsica is a narrative of resilience, cultural richness and the unyielding desire for self-determination. From ancient times through periods of foreign domination to the present day, Corsicans have preserved their unique identity, contributing significantly to the Mediterranean's cultural tapestry. Corsica's history teaches us about the power of cultural endurance and the complexities of identity in a changing world.